very good. <clears throat> Dean, congratulations. Two wins tonight. And um, thought process, I'm out of the year, thought process behind that whole album. How did Derek come to be? Uh, man, it was tough because Trail was a big record for me. And uh, sometimes as a songwriter, you feel like the well might be, you might be done. And so when I started writing for Dirt, it was, a, it was, a, it was challenging. Like, how am I going to outdo this, this album of the year last year? And so we just, I had to just forget about Trail in Life and just start writing again like I used to. And we kind of put that last record behind me and just wrote it. And we, you know, Matt produced it. And we sat back after it was done. We, just, we were just really happy with how it turned out. And nowadays in the, today's sort of the, the, the era of singles and EPs and stuff, full albums are getting rarer and rarer. The writing process behind an album like that, is there a particular headspace you get into or a particular inspiration for them? I know you told me a little bit about the, uh, Dirt Road Scholar story, but how you came up with that concept. Uh, how does how does that work? How does writing out in that sense? Yeah, inspiration is tough. Like it's funny. Like when I, when it comes to singing, it's like I can sing anytime. I can grab a guitar and sing. But writing is such a weird thing. It's sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And that's what makes it so freaky. Is you feel like, man, is that well going to run dry? <laughs> yeah. And so I try and find inspiration from different places. Like a lot of guys will write just from their own personal experience, but. I find other people fascinating. I find their stories fascinating. And a lot of times I'll try and tell that. I just put myself in their shoes and try and tell it from their point of view. Congratulations, uh, Dean. Album Graphics of the Year uh, winner as well uh, for a great, great album cover. Talk about the, uh, the, the photo shoot for that. Yeah. <laughs> we were in the desert just outside of Vegas. And it looks warm, but it was freezing. I don't know if Jill's here or not, but she, she took the picture. And uh, it was so cold, my hands were like purple. And I think they had to Photoshop a little bit of color in the fingers, but it was so cool. Like, it was painful at one point, and I was like, Do you, did you got it yet? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I think we got it. But yeah, it, was, it, it turned out cool, and it was one of the ideas that we just kind of did at the end. We just said, let's just try this dirt thing. It turned out. Thank you, Lord. Opening the show, this is like a theme for Um, it's kind of weird for me because I'm a really a pretty quiet person and, and uh, you know, I, I started this whole thing to be a songwriter. I actually moved to Nashville to be a songwriter and the whole artist thing just kind of evolved from from being in Nashville writing songs and people were like, man, it doesn't sound too bad and you say maybe you should record them and, and one thing led to the next and so to be in the spotlight and stuff is really, uh, I'm getting more used to it but it's, it's always a little uncomfortable for me. Yeah. yeah. Specifically today. Yeah, like how do you feel to take all this work It's awesome, man. And one of the biggest reasons I feel like my team is just, uh, they're just awesome. I love my team and the people that are working with me and for me. And, and uh, they're passionate about music and they love music and they love the business. And, and uh, I'm just really lucky to work with these this group of people. And so to win the awards, I feel like they're not just for me, they're for them. And I see joy in their face when, you know, when we win an award and stuff. So um, I, I really actually love it. Uh, two parts, Dean. Number one, do your kids think you're a big superstar? Yes. And two, how does it feel to have Alan Doyle present you the award after shooting the video with him last week? Yeah. Uh, my kids don't think I'm a star at all. <laughs> <laughs> I walk around the house with pajamas and sweatpants and, you know, a tank top. So they have no idea. They kind of have an idea. Isaac's getting, you know, the picture now. He's teased in school and stuff. <laughs> the girls in the older grades coming up to him. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and, and with Alan, you know, both both Alan Hako and yeah. Alan Doyle presenting those awards was uh, was awesome. You know, I just met Alan last week. It's funny, like we collaborated on a song called It's Friday, but he did all the work up in the Newfoundland studio. And so I met him last weekend. We shot the video, and uh, he's just a he's a fun guy. I mean, you can't help but like Alan Doyle and the guys at uh, ABC. No. <laughs> I could not rap. And, uh, I just don't think how a rap song would, would fit into my But reggae, maybe. I'm going to try reggae. The thing is, I'm really ADD when it comes to songwriting. I enjoy different stuff. Like, uh, at home, I don't actually exclusively listen to country music. I listen to, like, jazz and reggae, and I love it all. So. Um, do you <laughs> Drake. 
Did you work for a, a rap artist? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, he, he does, yeah. Does. <laughs> Just so you know all the words of the Fresh Prince theme song, everybody else in here, right? Yeah, I love that. That was awesome. <laughs> Nightmare in My Street, you guys remember that? Am I, oh, yeah. I'm dating yeah. myself, right? Yeah. And yeah, parents just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to wrap things up here, but once again, congratulations, album of the year, male artist of the year, and the best album, artwork, Dean Brody. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.